He took it from you. <laughs> so, what are we doing here, guys? What are we doing? What are we doing, Suzanne? Yeah. We're bringing him for his final checkup. For? For his adoption. Guys, you don't even know what's going on here. He's so amazing. Tell us. Oh Go ahead. God. This is all you, Suzanne. I, words can't describe how amazing this dog is. It's the best. He's the best. He's so happy. He's he's loving. There he is. But he, he's stressed out right now because he's afraid to Of stay. course. When we met him last week, he was here. Yes. And he was so sad. He was broken. He was depressed. He was just... He was just Awful. Because his family, who had him for three years since a tiny puppy with his brother, turned him in. Um, owner surrendered him. Everybody, this is PJ. This is the news that I wanted to share. Exactly, Michelle. Yay, PJ. Uh, if you remembered the video that I had taken upstairs in the room where he was completely broken, defeated, wouldn't lift his head. He was owner surrendered by his family. Um, if you remember, they said they had him since he was a, to a baby, baby puppy with his brother. We rescued them with our hands, and it was probably one of the worst days of, of my life when he, rescue, when he was surrendered. Um, and no fault of his own. It really was no fault of his own. The next day, I think it was, Suzanne, you reached out to me crying after you saw that video, and you said, please, please let me come and meet him. And you came with Michael. Hey, Michael. Hi. Michael's 15, and he's amazing. One of the most amazing young men that I have met. Um, and over here, we have this big, burly guy, Steve. <laughs> and when I brought... <laughs> you are such a softie. Um, big as heart. Uh, Tiffany and I brought PJ to their beautiful home in Plantation. How ironic, that's where PJ lived his entire life, was Plantation. Um, and when I brought PJ over, it was, you know, he was very nervous, correct, Suzanne? Yeah. Very nervous. And he was crying. Crying and confused, and we've been keeping in contact, updates continuously. And initially, Steve came home to be part of the process, and... Steve was kind of um, stuck upstairs <laughs> for a little while. Every time Steve would enter the room, it was just constant barking, barking, barking. Um, and that was just because PJ was, like I said, very confused, unaware of where he belonged. And I reached out to her because I wanted to know. I told her to take her time. I wanted to do a foster to adopt. We want this to be forever. No more disappointments for PJ. And... Uh, she reached back and said thank you, and they started out as foster to adopt, and then she reached back out and said, I don't need to take any more time. He's home. And we've been watching the photos, which I'm going to create a collage after you witness and, and view this amazing video. Sorry, that's my phone always ringing. Um, but I'm going to create a beautiful collage of photos that we have collected of PJ in his new home with his daddy, Pete, his mommy, Suzanne, and his brother, Michael. And Grammy, too. Grammy's been posting yeah. on there. I noticed Grammy. <laughs> Whose mom is that, yours or Pete's? It's Steve. 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 Why am I keep calling you Pete? I call everybody the wrong name. Don't, don't take it personal. <laughs> Steve. Everyone's come over to meet him, and he barks at first. He's scared. Right. But after a minute, he calms down, and all, all, all he wants to do is, is hang out with you and just... I mean, he's so good. No accidents in the house. No. Not one. He, no chewing. Nothing. Nothing. No, no he chewing. He chooses toys. Which is, he sleeps, he sleeps yeah. on our bed at night. On uh, your bed? On our bed. Oh, but we do. We, we, yes, we do. do have <laughs> for him. I saw that. And he has been sleeping on it as well, but the first two nights he slept with us on the bed. Um, the stairs just freaked him out. I remember. The, the first two <laughs> He doesn't like it in here. No. We're, we're leaving, baby. Well, I'm going to tell them to get this. Get it quick. He's just, he's, he's so wonderful. I don't want to stress him any more than he's already had to be stressed out. I just, I, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so blessed that, you know, our family is so supportive of him. You get to love him. He's here, just, Michael. He's so good. Maybe he'll want one of these. PJ, you want a cookie? Oh, that 
that makes sense. Like that. Friends. Yeah. He yeah. has. Yeah. Friends. And how is that going? Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Barked a few minutes, then we stopped. You okay. know, we took it nice yeah. and slow because okay. we know that it was it was children, young children. Yes, that, ten year old. That, that, that cornered him. him. Right. Cornered him right. in. After you and I spoke, I called the right. previous owner um, to get some insight and and find out what all of his you know likes dislikes if they could give us anything, and that's when I found out that um, you know they're not in their original home. They're staying at a family member's home which was changed for him, and then he was cornered, stressed out, in a laundry room. And uh, he did nip the child, and the kid, the child is perfectly fine, thank you, God. Um, but again, it is the responsibility mm -hmm. of the owner to make sure that your dog is not put in a position, you know, you and that's, that's you what it's all about. Guys, is this not the happiest? I know. Karen, uh, Karen saying PJ's day. <laughs> it is your day, PJ. Thank you, Zoe. Everybody that has shared and commented that video that we took originally of him went viral. Okay. I don't think I've ever received so many comments, um, text messages, phone calls, and emails with people called me hysterically crying, including Suzanne. Me? Yeah, that didn't sleep after seeing it, wanted to do something to help. Well, guess what? PJ's home. I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to get this... Uh, moving quickly so it doesn't stress him out. We can get him back home where, where he's happiest. Steve, Michael, Suzanne, awesome. forever it. connected, forever family. You are yeah. part of 100 Plus. Oh, we absolutely. are here always, okay. always, awesome. whatever you need. Oh, you. Did you get a call from the trainer yet also? I gave him your number. I did. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll talk more about that. And this is 100 Plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida, with our happiest, happiest update. PJ is Adopted and forever home. One person's trash is definitely another one's treasure. I'll say that. Yay!